Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Look who our guest star is. I can't even believe it. It's crazy. All the way from Illinois. <laughs> Welcome to the Marquee Show. <laughs> right, exactly. We went to Marquee's training, and Jessica's like, you should ask Marquee to come on your show. And we're like, oh, I don't know if we can do that. And then we did. Yeah. We here did. I am. And she said yes. Yay. Marky lost a bet, so she said she will do our show. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Oh, Jessica's there. Hey, Jessica. What's up? Hey. What's going on this morning? Woo-hoo. Gail and Mike. All right. Hello, everyone. Hello, Wait, hello. you all can see that far? I can. A little. Oh, I, can. Yeah. I only know it's probably Jessica because she's normally always the first one that jumps on. Oh, so, okay. You know, Because I'm thinking to myself, I need my glasses because uh, I can't see, and then I have a bifocal. <laughs> so, no, I don't see any of those names. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Melanie's what? That's your mom, right? That's your mom. Yeah, that's my mom. Yeah. Hey, mom. mom. I can't reach the button to hit hit uh, wave, wave. tail. Oh, he's so. so sad about that today. Oh, Always hitting that wave, wave button. You know what? I'll, I'll get up and wave. Whatever. I mean, like, wave. I mean, like these Whatever. Actors, right there. Boom. What? Wave. wave. Oh, there you go. Go oh, back up there. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Oh, we got another button. Oh, Nancy. All right. All right. Woo! So. We have a special guest star. We've got a great show for you today. We've got five tips for lead gen, lead generating with video. That's Marky's specialty. I don't know anyone that does it better than her. She's done uh, trainings for YPN. She's done trainings for all, like probably all the major franchises. We saw her at Berkshire. National Berkshire. Association of yep. Realtors. Mm-hmm. I mean, she is. We are so fortunate to to be able to have her here. It's so we're so thankful you live in Chicago. So that's great. <laughs> right. So it's not too far. And crazy enough, she was the first one here to do the video this morning. So yeah. Nicole I and I need to get her act together. Two minutes behind. For real. I was on time. That's right. She was on time. <laughs> but you guys made it on time. Too. Yeah, we did. I was a little early. Maybe I was frantic. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All this hotness, you got to be frantic. <laughs> <laughs> there all you right, go. All right. All right. So. We're gonna we're gonna get right into our number five tip. Uh, the numbers got all all out of whack today, so I'm gonna let Nicole do number five because I don't what? know I don't even know what we're doing right now. So, she crossed out all my numbers. This is Craig's favorite one: is get over yourself. Doesn't matter what you look like. I mean, yep. in general, I mean, you guys hear me on video some days. Like, I don't have a whole lot of makeup on. I put some on, but there are days where I'm like, oh man, I'm not going on camera, and I do it anyway so that we have that video content for the week. Go ahead, Mark. I was going to ask you, what do you what do you think? Is it better for someone to make sure they're looking like just perfect or anything, or is it better to be, you know, just do the video? Do the video. Content is number one. Uh, as you might have already heard me say, I am always, and this is working really well today. <laughs> the shortest, darkest, roundest person <laughs> in the room with the least amount of hair, and I create video content every single day because people do not care about how I look. They care if I can solve their problems. And there was a point in life that if I didn't run to the MAC makeup counter, go get my fra- hair crushed, uh, <laughs> what tongue tied this morning, <laughs> go and get a fresh haircut and buy a dress that you've never seen before, I wasn't going to do video. And I was in Williams-Sonoma one day, Facebook Live came to my mobile device, I was so frantic, I hopped on and I never had that level of engagement My hair wasn't combed. I didn't have on any makeup. I had on mom clothes because I was with my son at a cooking class and I've been hooked ever since on the engagement. So don't worry about how you look. All right. All right. That's a great tip. Um, Yeah, I I don't put any effort in that either. Oh, that's because you're a dude. Oh, my gosh. Well, he's handsome too. I I mean, I know know no one's over here stroking his ego. But if you weren't so fine, then maybe we might have a real problem. Give me the Marky and Craig show, I think, next week. Do you see the bone structure here? Come on. (laughs) He's like a little delicate flower, Marky. That's exactly what it is. Should this be a moment where I do, I'm also single, ladies? Should I I do that? (laughs) All the single ladies? All the single ladies. Oh, okay. (laughs) Nice, nice. nice. All right. Well, thank you. I love this. This is my favorite show. Forget it. I'm out. That's it. The show's over. All right. So number four, the number four tip we have for you today is get organized. Use the marketing calendar. Um, what was the calendar you're talking about that's got all kinds of different, like every day, what the holiday is? So there is a free tool, wave.video forward slash calendar. If you go there, they tell you what every day of the year is, and they give you a video marketing tip, plus they give you the hashtag. I recommend that we start planning in the fall of the year 
during the Christmas and Thanksgiving holidays where things are slow and you pick holidays that are going to resonate with your sphere of influence or the communities that you serve. Yeah, I think, and Nicole, you kind of do this a lot with, well, with the school calendar and, and giving back to the schools and stuff. We're doing a, a, a drive right now for school, school supplies, supplies and stuff like that. So um, I think that's a great thing. And like Brian Buffini trains and stuff like that is, is about, you know, giving something of value and you can use that calendar like you're talking about um, as a reason to reach out to your sphere. So it's not just, you know looking for business or something like that you're giving them something of value too well let's break it down to like the original who uses their calendar all the time i talk to my team about this all the time use an electronic calendar if you don't put it on your calendar you're not going to do it so you know putting something on marketing every single day i think is a fantastic idea to make yourself actually do it time block an hour or two out of your day to do your marketing most definitely and i treat my marketing like lead generation so when we're adding links to our posts whether it's Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, only one link on Instagram. I'm always taking the people to landing pages so that we can utilize social media and technology as lead generation. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, but it all starts with actually doing it in the yeah, first place. Yeah, That's yeah, the problem, you gotta right? do it. <laughs> you have to take action. Yes. Uh, people joke, but even in high school, I walked around with a paper planner. So I've been a planner my entire <laughs> I'm life. I'm a to-do list person. Yeah, I, I always do it. a to-do list. Yeah, and I have a journal, even though I use the electronic, mm -hmm. because for some reason, writing it down just reaffirms the fact that you have to do it in the first oh, place. You can't say that. You can't say that because my team, I always try to get them to do electronic, and they're like hiding paper, like journals. Oh. And books and you're like don't do it so now you said they can oh no we're in no trouble. no but let me say this Just teasing. so we have uh i don't know if you've ever read uh the roadmap to a successful i think it's 30 million dollar agent yes i think i have and i took uh kendra cook's paper format and i actually built it out in google so it has all the activities that she states that one should implement in order to produce $30 million. So I have, a, I believe, electronic, electronic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I also <clears throat> just keep a secret journal on the side. <laughs> yeah, I, I had to transition to electronic because I kept writing stuff down on like scraps of envelope yes. that I had in my car or something like that. And then I, you'd remember it like two days later, like, oh man, I didn't call that buyer back on this house or whatever. And you don't know what the number is, you throw yeah. it away, something like that. Yeah. yeah. I put a lot of reminders, like I'll put, if someone says, hey, call me next Tuesday or something, then I'll go to next Tuesday and I'll just put that as my 9 o'clock appointment is, you know, return these calls and stuff. So I think you got to be organized. I should add some marketing to there. That would be good. When we think about the get organized, there's a book, Michael Mayer, The Seven Levels of Communication. He states that we should have three major events every year and they should be client appreciation events. So we utilize that wave.video calendar, and we actually, back in July, uh, July 21st, two of the young ladies in my office, they actually put on a ice cream social because it was National Ice Cream Day. Oh, that's and cool. it went over very well. So yeah. pick those up calendar dates that would resonate with your community or things that you would have a lot of fun doing. Well, and that's the thing, like, that's the worst thing is coming up with ideas for marketing, right? So, like, that calendar is awesome because I had to brainstorm with one of my agents, like, client events and everything, and it took us a good couple hours. And really? We have that calendar. Oh, you got the calendar. Yeah, that's, like, way easier. Yeah, way, and it gives you the hashtags, and it gives yeah. you a a free video clip that uh, gives you ideas on what the marketing should look like. Oh, Just cool. so you'll know. Cool. Yeah. And that brings us right into our number three tip, which is also if you're having trouble finding something to do or something like that, or you got your calendar, partner up with other solution providers like your lenders, your inspectors, and and you know other people, marketing wizards. You know, <laughs> right? That's what that's what we're doing. Now, they don't realize solution providers was the name that we just came up with for that's our so lenders. <laughs> yeah, solution solution providers. Um, when I'm doing video, oftentimes I will bring in a lender that has a special program for the communities that I'm serving, whether that's grant <clears throat> monies or if you are in a community that has high foreclosures, we're starting to see some come back to the Chicago land area. Maybe you want to do 203k purchase rehab loans. Every time that I've interviewed a lender and we add a call to action with the link to a landing page, they always generate a minimum of 20 leads. So even though I think that we should get over ourselves and how we look, I believe that there's some planning we have to mm -hmm. uh, put in place in order for every video to be successful if we wanna generate leads from that video. 
Definitely. And if you've never taken Marky's class before, um, you know, you can follow her on Facebook. She does have, you know, lead gen where you put your information in and you get an email every week because I get that now. <laughs> so, there, yay! She has all those good tips. It on works. Doing all it, that. Works. it does. It's great. Um, so, that's kind of what that comes down to is that lead gen. And she teaches you how to do that easily and free, really. So, yeah. yeah. Little to no money. I, I'm tired of us. Uh, being nickel and dime to death every day. Doesn't it, it's just annoying. Can I just make some money? Can right. I just right. and make some money? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. How's it going, Carol? I see a couple other people have uh, signed in recently, so that's good. Hello, all the new viewers and everything. Okay, number two. This is a good benchmark for what you need to do, and that's produce at least one minute of video per day, Monday through Friday. Yes. Why, why one minute, Mark? So, one minute... They used to say that a picture's worth a thousand words. One minute of video content is equivalent to 1.8 million words. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. So imagine this. You set aside one minute per day to give a tip, okay, or a recommendation. Or your girlfriend just asks for who's the best plumber in town and 10 people made a post on her post, right? And you know that these people are reputable. You come back and you come with the 10 best plumbers in town, right? I mean, it's just so many ways to do this. And so you take that one minute, and in that one minute, you're creating content equivalent to 1.8 million words. But what's more important is we are seeing a lot of stories. And stories is the fastest growing form of content in the history of the internet. So that would be vertical video. Uh, and if you don't create it every single day, you're not in the story feed because they disappear every 24 hours. Oh, yeah. So it's a rationale behind the madness of why you should do this every single day. And it is so that you can be relevant in the stories, whether Instagram stories or Facebook stories. And Facebook stories are on your personal page, business page, group, and events. So here's the thing. Uh, Facebook stories, like, it's like, hey, do you want to post your story? And I was like, no, because it's annoying because I want to go back and look at it later. So, like, is it, I don't understand the whole Facebook story thing. Is it just, is it kind of like Instagram? It's just there for 24 hours, so you get people to watch you? Like, what? what is the point of it, I guess? It, it is definitely, it's the same purpose <laughs> as Instagram. Okay. It is tidbits of information that do disappear in 24 hours. Okay. The beautiful thing is you always have the ability to download it to your phone. Oh. On an Instagram story, you can actually set your settings that it automatically archives because they have it over on Instagram that you can come back and make it a highlight. Oh, so we'll probably okay. see highlights come to Facebook yeah. for all of the Facebook stories. Okay. It's just not there. Okay. And what else I noticed, if I do a story and I post that story to the news feed, I actually get more engagement on a story posted to the feed because yeah. you can post to both at the same time. Uh, oh, I didn't know you could post both. Yeah, he has no idea what we're talking about. Just I have so you know. no idea. I don't even know if I have. I'm a the Facebook. tech behind this. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I did. I I took Marky did an Instagram class what two weeks ago yeah. or something like that for the Young Professionals Network with our board of realtors or whatever. I signed up for Instagram that morning of the class. <laughs> And I'm sad to say I haven't used it since. But, it's okay. But I'm trying to use her marketing tips on Facebook still, so good. so I do use those, so that's good. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think the one minute of video per day is just a little intimidating, I think. Because, like, coming up with the content, I think, would be, like, the most difficult part of that. So let's go back. <clears throat> what I would say people should do is sit down and look at the calendar on wave.video forward slash calendar. It will give you the week's worth of content. You can actually mass produce on whatever your slow day of the week let's make the assumption it's sunday okay. set aside 30 minutes to create your seven videos essentially right yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, you got your marketing calendar you know what every single day is going to be and you can actually come if it's on your business plan you if it's on your business page you can actually pre-schedule these and they can drop every morning at eight o'clock oh cool so there is a um a tool to accommodate this that would be to mass produce and I would say do it on your slow day set aside 30 minutes and you have all your marketing done for the week yeah I mean you can't argue with that guys I know a lot of you don't like doing video it's the big push I try to do with my team and it's like pulling teeth can't get anybody to do it so 
that's a really easy way to get video out there. For I sure. have a question for you. Have you noticed that the agents who have embraced video are being more productive than those who don't? I honestly can't say that I have one person on my team that really does video besides me and Craig doing a Nicole and Craig show. It is not prevalent, I would say, in general. Do you agree, Craig? I would agree with that, yeah. yeah. Oh, I would love if you could get two to three agents, especially yeah. newer ones, who would commit to video and let's see what their growth was versus those that who do, don't, just to prove the case study to make the uh -huh. other ones, excuse me, jealous. <laughs> of the value of video. <laughs> I've got one new one. I think he's going to end up doing video. Yeah. So we might test that theory. That's awesome. That's awesome. I, I think I'm going to do that too. Just even when I'm walking through a house or something, just do a quick, hey, look at this kitchen right here. This is awesome. Or, or look at this backyard, look at this pool or something like that. And just somehow use video to do that. Like in my day-to-day -day, you know, running of the uh, business. business. Check out the most unique feature. That's a recommendation that comes from uh, Justin Brohms from Massive Agent. He says, we always just focus on the traditional things, find that most unique element in a property and focus on it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. And we're coming up to our last tip, which is what do you do with all that video that, you, that you've done, you've created, people have looked at it and stuff? You just throw all that away, Marky? What do you, what Absolutely do? Absolutely not. So let me, this is what's funny. Um, I didn't know that I was supposed to be coming into the office. I thought that we were going to use a tool like Zoom or something <laughs> like that. And I would stream live from home. So once this video is done, it's going to be in an MP4 format. I take my videos and I actually strip the visual content from it and turn it into an MP3. It's now a podcast. I then use tools like Teamy, T-E-M-I, and Otter, O-T-T-E-R, to do audio to text transcription. It becomes a blog post and it becomes my weekly email. So I actually originate all of my content in video format because it's the one piece of content that you can repurpose without recreating. See, and that's what Craig and I were talking to her about a couple of weeks ago. I was like, okay, we've done these videos for a year now, but we haven't really done a whole lot with them. So I think the repurposing thing is very interesting, but I think yeah. it takes time or it's going to take us time to set it up. And I think it's setting aside that time maybe in the fall or winter like you're talking about and getting a marketing plan together, guys, uh, to make that repurposing happen, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting, I actually have too much content now because I'm repurposing the content and I haven't had the opportunity to repost any of the great content because it's consistently generating leads. So that means that I'm not spending money on ads because I'm consistently creating content. So yeah, cool. yeah. <laughs> you were like in awe of that because we started doing this video like we named it the hashtag Nicole and Craig show because of your friend that her and her husband show. Oh, Mark That's and why Carrie. we named it. That's hey, why we named hey, it Mark that. and Carrie, I'm going to tag you in this. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we did it. So it was like we took some tips because we'd only been doing it in a few weeks when we went to that class and we're like, all right, well, we're going to do it live. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. So we picked up those tips, but it's like I feel like we've used like this much of like everything that you offer you know what i mean so well here's the beautiful thing there are a lot of more free things that you get to do with this video content right to expand your digital footprint yeah whether it's to a person who prefers audio or someone who still likes to just read and so just starting with video gives you every form of content but yes you do have to sit down and repurpose it to do, actually, it's not that hard. To do the audio to text, you just load the video, and it'll send you the audio when it's finished. And it's the same thing with the, I'm sorry, that was uh, video to audio. And it's the same thing with the audio to text or video to text. So I'm consistently taking that content and repurposing it. That's exciting. Marky Jessica saying that's brilliant. Uh, <laughs> turn it into podcasts. That's awesome. Susie saying nice, uh, great show. Thanks, Marky. That's awesome. So... <laughs> We're over here frowning because even though I turned my audio off, my phone is vibrating on the table over there. And we are looking like, uh, should we get the phone? Oh, we did turn the audio off. Don't worry. I get like phone calls during yeah, these videos yeah. and stuff. We're fine. It's totally fine because we're totally tech on this show. Oh, yeah. Totally. <laughs> Yeah. But, you know, we want to, we appreciate you coming in, especially coming down from Chicago to do our video instead of doing Zoom, because I guess I could have done that, but I didn't realize it. <laughs> and um, if you guys uh, want to follow Marky, I did tag her in this post. We'll put her, um, we'll put her, I don't know, 
what do you call it? Tag or whatever? Hashtag. Or you can uh, actually social selling made simple podcast.com. You can go listen to, I guess, about 27, 28 episodes right now. And, and yeah, you can tag me. And if they sign, want to sign up for your live email, that is, that's on Kiwi, right? Oh, they, it is, but they can actually go to Real Estate Live on Facebook. They'll see a picture of me and Carrie. Okay. And you can join our private Facebook group where we do, every week we do one video mark, uh, where we teach you something via video. We can yeah. put that right in the comments thing. We'll, we'll put that in as soon as we're done with this. And if you're starting videos, she's got great content about what equipment to buy. That's why I bought the light ring that you see is making our faces so soft. I do have <laughs> I do have microphones we haven't hooked up, but she has all that content on there, like telling you how to start, what equipment you need, and she tries to do cheaper options so you don't have to break your bank to do it. Yeah, I'm so. not going to nickel and dime you to death. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I think we're reaching the end of our show today, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, All right. I think so. So if you, uh, you could also, like, some of this video I do repurpose, like, I'll put it on, on YouTube also. Mm -hmm. um, that's the only way I, we can kind of store the video, I guess. So at some point, we'll figure out how to, how to like, you know, repurpose that video and stuff like that. We'll yeah. figure it out one of these days. Well, right, like, anyway. like, comment, share in the, you know, in the comments down there. If you want to see a certain video, let us know. We're really excited to have Marky today. Thank you for coming. And Thank thanks, you. everyone. Thank Bye, you. guys. See you next Bye. week.